backyard machine shop. Today we're going to start taking apart the quick change for the Pratt & Whitney lathe. And um, it's a heavy beast. <laughs> so the thing about Pratt & Whitney is they patented this, this quick change in 1905. And like I've said, the lathe I have is between 1916 and 1920, I believe. And I've got some evidence that, that pretty much supports that. But I've got a catalog, or a, not a catalog, but a book on lathes. And in 1907, they showed the same lathe I have with a couple other features and with this quick change on it. So if you look in here on the tag, it says it's patented in 1905. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the camera in closer and show you some of the details on this um, quick. All right, guys, here's the quick change for the Pratt & Whitney lathe. And basically what you have is you have a set of gears back here in the back. You have an input shaft that drives the gearbox. And it drives it through a, you really can't see it right now, but inside here there's a long um, gear. I mean, that gear is you know that long all right and, and it, input shaft drives through here through this gear here and in this gear it selects it it, it travels along through via this um this this rack here this shifter and it's just hard to shift in this position but anyway This is one of the reasons I want to take it apart, make sure we we see this. So we uh there we go, we shift it to another gear. But basically this gear right here, it moves along to the different ratios, and that's what calculates your feeds. And then it transmits through this set of gearing and it drives your feed shaft. And then this set of gears here drives your lead screw okay so it's all transmitted through through this area so what we're going to do is we're going to start well first of all let me show you something that's pretty cool in, in this tag and the thing about this tag guys you know i can attempt to take this off and right now i'm not going to um, you know there's methods of doing it but this tag is just so cool i don't want to mess it up I don't want to deal with broken off pins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it on here. And I do this in a lot of restorations. I'll leave it on and I'll tape it up and uh, we'll take care of it that way. I want to do a good finish and some, on it and we'll, we can do that on the casting. So the only thing that's really wrong with this is there's a, these pins here. If, really Alright guys, so what we start, and we're going to remove this cap. And well, first of all, we, we need to remove this gear, I guess. And this gear doesn't belong here, it's just one I threw on here to show to demonstrate. So we're just going to unscrew it and uh, we'll pull that gear off, set that right there. And it's pretty much the same thing that I've been having to do with these. Uh, I don't think that's bad. So some of these, like I said before, I've pre loose I've, I've, I've already broke them loose. I didn't remember which ones there were. I might spit this in. So, this end comes off. Here, that one ain't loose. All right. Take a dead blow, knock this thing loose. There we go. Alright, that slides out. Alright, so we have a casting here and it's got a, I don't know if that's a bearing, a 
surface or not. I'll have to look at it a little deeper. It does have a oily channel. I guess it oils that shaft. That's why this, that's why this lathe is in such good shape. It was just well built. And as far as, uh, can you see that? It was just well built. Let's see, look in there. A lot of attention to detail on um, on the oiling. All right. Now let's see what the shaft does. I think this shaft here will slide out. Let me go back on the other side. Now, get a rag. Be careful with it. Okay, and that's the long um, gear that I was talking about. It's uh, a good 12 inches of gear on the shaft. So, and it's it's a machine shaft like that. Um, let me get a rag. Set this on the rack. All right. So, what else we got? Did that come out. Let's see. Ooh. It don't go out that way, so it's got to come out this way. I wonder if you got to take that key out for it to come out. Let's put some light on the subject. So it's key to that. Oh, let's see. It's always the ones on camera. I'm going to take this plate off. I don't see where it comes out this way, but we'll see. Make this come out this way. Alright. I found that doing this with these slotted screws, to grind a little bit off the end of your screwdriver where the thicker. And, uh, it helps. Also, I picked up a a socket that just slotted, but I don't have one this small. There we go. All right, so we got plate coming off here. Let's see what this plate does. Hopefully, that thing will slide right out this end. Man, that screw's nasty. They're all the same length. Nope. Separated.
and I don't see it coming apart like that. There is a cap in here. It's a bearing is what it is. So that doesn't help us get that out of there. Um, let's see. Let's take, let's see if we can take apart this upper shaft and then we can maybe look at that a little bit better. Alright, right in here somewhere we got some screws. I saw when I was looking at it. Well, looks like there's only one screw in there. Hold that whole cap in place. So let's get it out. I gotta get a bag. Start putting some of this stuff in. You're gonna be a little pain, ain't you? Hmm. Maybe we can do it this way.
and be honest. 